Thanks, Tony. New at 5, a confessed killer is sentenced for murdering his own parents and dumping their bodies in a cesspool. It's been two years since the horrific crime which left the entire community of Warren in shock. Now the victim's child is headed behind bars for life for killing them. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us live now from Providence Superior Court with details that are new at 5. Emotions overflowed here at Superior Court in Providence today as grown children beg for the man who killed their parents to get the maximum punishment. Right now, I have never physically, I have never physically shaken like this ever in my life. Just standing here. 26-year-old James Soares Jr. revealed no emotion as two of his half-sisters told a packed courtroom in Providence how his murdering their father and stepmother has hurt them horribly. In April, he pleaded guilty to beating his parents to death, Marion and James Soares, with this mason's hammer in July of 08. In a sickening discovery, investigators found their bodies in a backyard cesspool in Warren. They say time heals all wounds. I beg to differ. No amount of time will ever heal the depths of wounds this family will forever endure. I have been short with my customers. I have lost customers because of my emotional days. Some days I can't get out of bed. Judge Francis Derrigan sentenced James Soares Jr. to serve double life prison terms consecutively, one after the other, not simultaneously. Your true appropriate sentence will come when you be stand before God and he turns his back on you and sends you to burn forever in the fires of hell. Then and only then will you have received your appropriate sentence. The relatives of the murder victims chose not to speak publicly afterwards, but they did talk with the prosecutor, and she relays their reactions new at 6. Live at Superior Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.